in coronavirus news now. The global death toll from the coronavirus has surpassed 6 million people. Soon the U.S. will reach its own sobering milestone, 1 million people dead from the virus. Deborah Alfaron brings us a look at the state of the pandemic in the U.S. The global death toll from COVID has now stretched past 6 million people, according to Johns Hopkins University. It's a hard number to fathom because either these are deaths. This isn't just a wide range of infections. These are people who themselves and family members have lost a life that's precious. Tara Krebs lost her father Charles to COVID early in the pandemic. They're not numbers. My father was a person and he is loved and he's, he's missed. You know, I, I still get weepy and it's almost been two years now. Since then, cases have fallen in the U.S., now down to around 45,000 a day. Hospitalizations and deaths are also much lower. In response, New York City lifted its mask mandate in schools Monday. I'm happy that my kids can go to school without a mask. I think it's a little soon, but uh, we'll see how it goes. New York City restaurants and indoor venues no longer require proof of vaccination, but you still have to wear a mask to see a Broadway show, ride the subway, or visit a medical facility. Restrictions are lifting across the U.S. Even so, a convoy of truckers is protesting COVID-related mandates. They did a couple of loops around the Beltway around Washington over the weekend, and they say they plan to talk to lawmakers on Capitol Hill later this week. I've talked to a few truckers and there are different specific goals from the mandate to general government overreach. Around the world, COVID death rates are still high, including in war-torn Ukraine. Hong Kong is also battling a sweeping and crippling COVID outbreak. These isolation centers are maxed out. I think most people in Hong Kong are very worried. Hong Kong will test all of its residents three times this month. Deborah Alfarone, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia. Over the weekend, Boston became the last major U.S. city to lift its indoor mask mandate.